So I unjammed the claim. I picked my phone. First person I called was Festus Kiamo. He was with Asari Dokubo. I called Charlie Boy because he was the P man president yes, at that time. Yes. You know, when Charlie Boy we came, I told him what happened immediately, and he was like, "Yo, where the fuck is the 50 cent? Come down here. You don't come to our country and try to disrespect us. This is that." 51 are like, yo, they've never told us when I was not telling Charlie Boy that they never told us they were artists. Say, it was a program. It's not just an artist. It's an Olympic church bearer. I'm the president of Performing Musician Association of Nigeria. All that story, now basically because Charlie Boy won't collect money from Nigerian be resigned. <laughs> no, they're here now. Are you I'm listening? Saying, exclusive. <laughs> want to collect money. Wow. Not true story. Hmm. Tell you, reality. No, Ojoro. Hmm. You know. And I believe him. So. I believe him. Immediately, Charlie said, Idris, no worry, no worry, no worry, I'll feel, just worry, chill, so I'll feel, I'll say no problem. I don't know if Charlie, but I don't go for my back, collect money for Nigerian beauty, son. Chai. True I life story. Boy. True life story. And that was why I Ashiri don't never give respect one. Charlie Boy for anything. That was after I saw my relationship him. with Charlie Boy finish. So how did you know you collected money? Pay attention. Uh -uh, not how will you who don't know? USA, Festoski, I'm going to call uh, if, uh, Charlie Boy, make it call collect for Buari. <laughs> Charlie Boy is a scavenger, <laughs> and I respect him for that scavenger. because he's a hustler. He just won't collect, you know. You know, be you know, be freedom fighter. Now anywhere Belair is, hmm. you go follow. Hmm. Do you understand? Yeah, so hmm. I get to understand a lot of things during those moments. I was like, wow, I've learned my lesson. Then I became a one-man soldier that don't need plenty of people to survive. Hmm. I just need only two or three like minds. And those true or three like minds can be an activist, can be a businessman, or can even be a government person that is adding value to the lives of Nigeria. Period. All right, wonderful people. All right, great people. I am back again today. You know, I always bring authentic information to you all. This is a true life story. This man that just finished talking now is Idris Abud Karim, a true freedom fighter. It does not matter who, anywhere you may come from. A true freedom fighter is a true freedom fighter. And everything that he said is a gospel. I believe him. You know why I bring this video to you all is for you to understand who Charlie Boy is. And I want you at the same time to pay attention to this photo that I have next to my video right now. It was a video, but I don't want to show it. Where Charlie Boy was on the ground like a cripple, looking for where the belly is facing. A hungry non-entity. That is why he keep on answering Charlie Boy. He will remain a boy. Now you understand. Charlie boy, you know why I'm trying to bring all this into our people for them to understand. I remember during the time of uh, presidential election, the one that I have came and gone, they have lost in totality. They fail woefully. I saw Charlie boy running around, going like idiot here and there. You don't know that Charlie boy is looking for his stomach. You will think that Charlie Boy know what he's doing. You don't know that Charlie Boy is looking for his pocket. Now you have heard what Idris Abu Karim said. Because of the sing, the song of Idris Abu Karim, they chase him away from that contraption called Damile Buzu. Because Idris Abu Karim is one of the artists in that contraption that will tell you the truth and tell you nothing but the truth. That is why Obasanjo chased him away. That is why today some people are seeing Idris Abu Karim like nobody. But I'm telling you people that Idris Abu Karim is the number one artist as a singer and an actor in that contraption that can tell you how it is without looking for any favor from anybody. Now you see the reason why that uh, Charlie Boy went back and collected money at the back of Idris Abu Karim. Because he knows that uh, uh, he know people. This is exactly what happened during this election. You see Charlie Boy on a Google and on a Google and can go on. He think that he knows what he's up to on a single that on a mumu never do. That he is the the president of uh, wounded youths. 
you don't know that Charlie Boy is looking what he will eat. And all the whole money that this man have made, even though through his father, it's not enough. That is why he keep on telling you that he's a boy. And he will remain a boy. But let me introduce myself before I go further. I don't want to waste, waste much of my time here. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Nandi Okuchukano. Here I am, I always set the record straight. Regardless who you are, your position or your wealth, your qualification, who cares? I don't care. I just need your common sense. If you can be able to understand, use your common sense, ability to reason. That is what I need, ability to reason. But if you lack ability to reason, there is no how I can explain to you and you are going to understand. Charlie Boy is just looking for his stomach. Charlie Boy is on the street during the 2023 election, running around following Peter Obin sheepishly, not sheepishly, he was looking for his what he will put inside his mouth. That is what Charlie Boy is looking for. He's not looking sheepishly. He know what he's doing exactly. But when I was telling people all this thing, they say Charlie Boy have come out, his mumu have done. Charlie Boy mumu will never do. His mumu will continue. And I want you people to understand that all these things that Idris Abu Karim said, they are all authentic. There is no lie about it. Charlie Boy is nobody. Charlie Boy is inconsequential. Charlie Boy father is a one of those prominent men in that contraption. But today, this man is still looking for what to put in his mouth. He don't care about you. You will see him going on the street, doing all manners of things. You think that this man care about you. You don't know that this man is care about what he's going to gain. That is why Koja Wogalin and Akamworo, Charlie Boy, you hear Bogongworo. And you will keep on, you will be a cripple because of what you are going to put, because of your, your, what you are going to benefit. Today, Obi have lost. Today, Obi is nowhere to be found. Where is Charlie Boy? You can't find him. Charlie Boy is nowhere to be found today. And you people have forgotten how he was going from uh, one office to office, from Obasanjo to the Tifubu, from Tifubu to this one, from this one to this one, because of what he's going to gain, because of what is going to enter his pocket. That is why Charlie Boy is there. Now you understand it. Uh, Idris Ab Abu Karim said that Obasanjo is a scavenger. He is a scavenger. Nothing else. He is just a, he is just a, a, I don't know how to put this. But if you don't understand what uh, this a, a true freedom fighter, Idris Abu Karim, one and only, this man is one and only. Nobody can use to compare this man in that contraption. As a musician, he is number one. Of course, maybe you don't see him as a, as a wealthy person because he don't want to dance in a tone of those government. This man has seen a song that, you know, it has made him known in the world. He sing about Biafra, a Biafra song that the Biafra want to go. He sing about Nigerian Jaga Jaga. Who, who else can sing such a music and will remain there? When this man released Nigerian Jaga Jaga, Oba Sondo give this man a run. This man run for his life because they want to kill him. All those people you see today in Nigeria, they are singing. What are they singing? They are going there telling you, your, your, your big boot, your, your this, your popo, your this. Your, all this thing is nonsense. Only this man is a man that, believe you me, is a legendary. It is Abu Karim. It's a legend. Believe you me, there's no two ways about it. Except your lack of ability to reason. And I want you people to know that Charlie Boy is nobody. Charlie Boy don't mean good for you. Charlie Boy is only looking for his pocket. Charlie Boy is just putting his stomach first. Everything that Idris Abu Karim, the true freedom fighter, from Yoruba Odudua, because you know we don't shy away from reality. We always face reality. It does not matter where you come from. When you say the truth, we're always going to bring you out and tell the world that this man is a correct man. Idris Abu Karim is a correct man. I don't lie about it. And I will keep on telling you people this, for you to always recognize this man as a somebody, as a true son of his father, as a true son of Yoruba Odudua, and he's ready to do everything. They have done a lot. There is no how you can ever dispute it. What this man have done. The way he have already told the world who Nigeria is. 
He has told the world that Nigeria is jaga jaga. Everything is scatter scatter. Poor man, they suffer, suffer. Gosa, gosa. They brought a criminal from Liberia and they harbored him in Nigeria. This man sing it on his song. And now you understand what I'm saying? I want you to circulate this. I want this video to get to Charlie Boyd so that he will know that I the gear. We have caught him now. Of course, we have caught him. He's going nowhere. Charlie Boy is a criminal. And he will remain criminal. He never meant good for you. He just put him his stomach first. He's a scavenger. He's a, he's a he's nobody. He's a charlatan. He's a non-entity. I said this. It does not matter who his father is. Now you understand. I will rest my case here. Good day. I remain blessed.